Jeep dealers are literally panicking as customers refuse to buy these overpriced SUVs. We gotta talk about what's been going on and I've been price shopping for some time with Jeep, specifically the very popular Grand Cherokees. While we all know the Wranglers have always been very popular, they're selling like hotcakes new and as well they hold their price on the used car market so a lot of customers don't find it a real problem to pay maximum dollars for a Wrangler even though they're clearly not necessarily worth it in my opinion. The fact remains is the Jeep Grand Cherokees have a whole raft of different sub models that people are normally getting attached to but now they're starting to find this insult to injury as you walk down these car lots and you look down the dealers lots and there's way more than excess on these Stellantis and Jeep lots obviously the Dodge Rams or the Ram pickup trucks are loaded they're overflowing in the car lots we're seeing Jeep Wranglers overloading in the car lots and we're seeing Jeep SUVs all over the car lots but there's a trick they're actually not selling all that great and then here we pull out the phone here and I'm looking at a Jeep Grand Cherokee of course we're listed sticker at about $95,000 which is absolutely ludicrous but it looks like they're actually giving at least on the site here giving you about a $9,000 discount you know, as a matter of fact, the Cherokee, so the lower version of the Grand Cherokee, has pretty much been given up the ghost. Stellantis and Jeep said, you know what, we had enough of that. And some of their lower end products too haven't been selling like hotcakes. The quality's not there. And word is, it's getting around. The quality's not quite where it needs to be. But to make insult to injury, what Jeep's been doing is been playing yo-yo with some of their prices. As I looked at the end of 2023, things have been changing a little bit. I mean, if you go far enough back and you talk about where the prices were at for some of the Stellantis products, many of them have been way grossly overpriced. So it feels like some of the original pricing at the factory was a little bit out to lunch and they might be starting to realize it. They're gonna have to motivate to get people to buy these. But let's take a look. What do we have over here? We have a bunch of Grand Cherokees. If you take the prices from 2023, the beginning of the year, to 2024, which is right now, then we can look at what's been happening. And clearly, they're not getting the message. People aren't buying the products. Sure, while there's some people buying, they're just not getting it. Those are the people that haven't been shopping all that aggressively. And clearly, they're just willing to throw down some money aimlessly and not even think twice. But people are getting smarter, like you, like me. We're all thinking, helping each other out, sharing the stories. And as well, we're just looking in more depth as to where the prices have been, where they're going today. And customers, again, are just getting savvy and they're just getting fed up with what's going on with some of the prices. They're actually refusing to buy a lot of these vehicles, incentives or not. You ever wonder why people are starting to lose it? Well, it really took me by surprise. It was almost like standing on the end of a rug and somebody giving it a rip and I go flying and that's kind of what it feels like. It's bad enough that inflation's high, even though we're talking about now I'm hearing in Canada, they're talking by 25, they're notching down the interest rates, the lending rates may start to creep down. But the fact remains is the cost of living is at an all time high. And again, I've said this before, I'll say it again. Sadly, look around, drive to any major city and you see people living in tents across the nation and literally that's a big part of it people can't afford to survive anymore they can't even with full-time jobs there have been so many stories people have shared with me personally where they actually have a 40 hour per week job and they have to live in their car in a parking lot because they can't even afford a place to live well this all transfers down in many ways remember Housing is the first most expensive thing or investment in your life and cars are number two. So clearly cars have a big impact on people's lifestyles and sadly, a lot of these manufacturers are just squeezing every last ounce of blood out of every customer that they can possibly get. So as we compare the early 23 to 24 price ranges, lower end models like the Laredo and the Altitude were only marginally notched up. As a matter of fact, only a matter of hundreds of dollars. You didn't see a huge increase there, but remember what's been going on in the last few years is a lot of these manufacturers pick on people that really want to step up their game they want to step into the higher margin vehicles vehicles that clearly have more features more options nicer rims better infotainment systems better options more comfortable ride are where a lot of people sort of reside and they know that the popularity game wins again of course this is a place now where people are residing in the bulk and the heart. Not too many people are buying the base model of Grand Cherokees and that's why they're not pricing them that much higher there's not, more, not much of a point to it when people are buying the next level up, which of course, Jeep Grand Cherokee series like the Limited, Overland and the Summit have seen some significant creases initially, again, as they say from 23 to 24, same time. They actually ranged anywhere from about $3,190 up to about $6,490 more expensive than the year before. I don't believe it. Are they not getting the message? We have still 22 model years sitting on a lot of lots. I was scoping out the other day and I 
still see they're trying to sell some new old stock 22 model years that they haven't been able to pitch yet. $73,000 and if you look at you tack on all the extras that takes us up to over 82, 81,000 and change for this vehicle. Clearly people are not that enthusiastic about these even though it's a popular SUV popularity is quickly waning people are looking for nicer options there's a lot of great options and features out there Jeep isn't your one-stop shop for SUVs anymore and there's a lot of great alternatives on the market people are starting to figure that out and because of that Jeeps had to make some reconsiderations. So as a result, since that time and since these big price increases that we've seen in some of the Rams and some of these Jeep Grand Cherokees specifically, a lot of people are pushing back. There's been a lot of people vocalizing this, getting mad, outright PO, just because of what's been going on in the market. It's enough insult to injury. Yeah, a lot of people make this choice because they like to have the new shiny toy, but there are legitimately a lot of people that need a new vehicle, and they know that they're on the receiving end. It's bad enough when you gotta pay 80 or 90 grand for a substandard low level entry style SUV that's pitched as a high level premium SUV. Finish, they don't do with, you know, the big panoramic glass like some of the other vehicles in the luxury brand segment have. It doesn't have the pedigree and that's where, unfortunately, where Dodge and Jeep is struggling here or the Stellantis group in trying to get people convinced and get them over and con convince them that they're basically buying something that's worth more money. And that's just a sad place to be. So once they got word and there's been pushback, Jeep actually, to the benefit of a lot of supporters and customers, has actually openly admitted, hey, maybe we got a little bit over exuberant with prices. Let's see what we can do. And so as a result, it didn't take very long and the dealerships and the manufacturers, the OEMs scaled this back and they rethought their whole process. After cranking up the prices, they said, well, you know what? You know what? Maybe let's try something a little different. Clearly these vehicles aren't selling, obviously. Nobody's dropping prices down, remember that. Prices aren't getting slashed because these cars or SUVs are selling like hotcakes. They're getting slashed because people refuse to buy this junk. So as a result, Jeeps decided to drop the MSRPs either 2,000, 3,500, 4,000 on the 2024 Grand Cherokees and the Grand Cherokee L. L for lews. So this all came to light at about January 29th of 24, and it was actually exposed that prices have gone up so much. And as a result, Jeep has actually elected to make some slight adjustments, and these discounts have become effective as of January 31st. So customers may now be in a place where they can enjoy a few small, relatively small discounts added on to some of these Jeep Grand Cherokees. Now, we know these vehicles were never significant bargains in the first place, and $2,000 might fe seem like a bit of a slap in the face, but clearly I think it's all smoke and mirrors and a little bit of, hey, what's that over there? What? And get people confused by all of this notion. But at the end of the day, the vehicles are so highly priced to begin with, it just doesn't seem quite right. So basically as a response, the 2024 model year vehicles have had some alterations. For example, the Laredo A, there's no change and it stays at 38,390 bucks. The Laredo is about $2,000 less going at for about 39,830. Laredo X is about $2,000 less at about 40,580 bucks. Altitude at 44,435, which is $2,000 less. And then the Altitude X for about another $500 more, also got the knock at two grand off. The Limited comes in at a whopping $47,400, meaning those customers can enjoy about $3,500 discount. And the Overland at just over $62,000 is actually a $4,000 discount. Then you have the Summit at $64,445, also a $4,000 discount this year. And the Summit Reserve, $4,000 off, gets you it at $68,835. So as you can see, you're almost at $70,000 for a new Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now you're pretty much in BMW X5 territory, you're in Audi SQ5 territory, you're in some pretty big league company, and I'm not necessarily sure they have the Kuyans to justify that space. So apparently, dealers that completed their orders by January 30th, 2024, may in fact be subjected to this specific weasel clause and may in fact enjoy the fruits of some of these discounts. And when you go far enough back, for example, 18 months, when we were pretty much at the peak, some of these newly discounted prices are actually slightly below. Actually, most of them are slightly below what they were 18 months 
months ago. But honestly, there's still a few that have gone up since that last 18 months. So it's a balancing act. And why have a few of them gone up? Well, clearly it has to do with the different configurations such as 4x4 and 4x2. So there's been some other anomalies in the market that have driven some of these changes. So on top of this, a Jeep spokesperson actually told Cars Direct, quote, we know consumers are grappling with the rising cost of inflation. In response, Jeep is taking the opportunity to add content and value its award-winning lineup, while at the same time rolling back starting MSRPs on some of our most popular models, such as the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now, while I understand a lot of people love the Jeep Grand Cherokees, prices have literally gone out of control and people are just having a tough time actually buying some of these. It's gone outside of the reach of your normal, typical middle class like myself, who finds it very difficult to even stretch and reach to buy something like this that should be built for the mainstream. It should be built for the working class. It should be built for people that are putting in 40 hours a week, working hard, traveling to the mountains on the weekend, just enjoy a weekend away. That's who it's designed for. But a lot of those people that I know can't even afford to buy some of these Jeeps now. Something else worth mentioning is the 3.6 liter V6 engines are what you would assume are in these price points. As soon as the inline six version called the Hurricane arrives, forget about it. All bets are off and guaranteed prices hikes are going to be in place. So you're likely not going to see the big deals and these SUVs are likely going to be touching higher to that 70, $80,000 and possibly beyond. Now also have to note last month, some Grand Cherokees last month were subject to about 10% discount which clearly is maybe just enough to bring it down to where some customers can actually afford it. But remember, that coupled on the back of the fact that a lot of interest rates are still high, and even on a new vehicle like this, people are still stuck possibly paying 8.9, not you know 10%, 12% interest rates, just means that by the time you budget this out, even taking a loan out for eight or nine years might mean it just pushes just outside that affordability space. And so if you find some of these prices just out to lunch and you just don't wanna afford that, and you think it's just too much of a gamble, definitely check out that video because that's a list of some cars, trucks, and SUVs that people would definitely buy again. It ranks very highly for popularity and there's strong reasons why people buy them. So you may want to look at those if you've been shopping. Hope to see each and every one on the next one. Can't wait to see you all real soon. See you then. Bye-bye.